welcome to Merrimack Repertory Theater. I'm Bonnie Buckus, Executive Director of MRT. This is an exciting moment. We're here to announce our 2022-2023 season. You are an important part of our season. Trustees, staff, volunteers, donors, subscribers, sponsors, foundations, students, teachers, our elected officials, and the city of Lowell all make theater possible here in Liberty Hall. We couldn't serve thousands of people, including 2,000 K through 12 students, without your support. COVID has brought hard times and big challenges, and we hope MRT brings you joy as we make our way through. I am so pleased to welcome you to our 44th season. Hi, I'm Vanna Howard. I am a state representative representing the 17 Middlesex District. Merrimack Repertory Theater plays a vital role in Lowell and the surrounding region. I'm pleased to join the announcement of MRT's 44th season. Six plays filled with laughter, family, suspense, and holiday cheer. I am especially excited about MRT's renewed commitment to serving young audiences. Every young person in our region deserves access to professional arts experiences. Seeing a play offers a range of academic, social, and emotional benefits to young people. Theater is a powerful tool to build 21st century skills, including critical thinking and collaboration. The 44th season will include more plays than ever for families. I want to extend a special welcome to Kalyan Ong and her new play, Letters from Home. I've seen a bit of Kalyan's play and her story is profoundly resonant, especially for our Cambodian American community. I can't wait to welcome all of MRT's artists to Lowell. Congratulations to MRT as they continue to serve. I'll see you at the theater. Hi, I'm Courtney Sale, the Nancy L. Donahue Artistic Director. We open our 44th season with the 39 Steps adapted by Patrick Barlow. In 1935, Hitchcock adapted the film from the novel, and it was really the first of its kind as far as spy movies go. In the play, our hero, Richard Hannay, is looking for a quiet night at the theater when by chance he's entwined into a complex espionage plot. So we watch this regular guy, not an action hero, now on the run, and it includes some harrowing moments on trains, planes, and automobiles. What's joyous about this production is it combines what we know as a traditional whodunit with this wonderful energy of a quick change comedy. Four actors take on over a hundred roles. It truly celebrates actors, their innovation, invention, and virtuosity. The 39 Steps will be a highly entertaining night of theater filled with laughter and mystery. After a 23-year pause, I'm thrilled to bring Shakespeare back to the MRT stage. This second show of our season is the Scottish play. We're producing a juggernaut adaptation by Lee Sunday Evans. In this iteration, Lee has created a world in which the entire play is performed by the three witches, who are some of the most compelling and beguiling characters of the canon. It's a really important time to examine blind ambition, and that's one of the strengths of this version, essentializing why and how power corrupts. The play affords us this amazing opportunity to bring director Rosa Joshi to MRT. Rosa is known for her ambitious takes on the classics, primarily with female and non-binary artists. Her work has been seen all over the country and most recently at Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Her productions are always so smart, visceral, make you feel and make you think, and we cannot wait to introduce her artistry to MRT audiences with this production. The third show of MRT's 44th season is a brand new adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. This is truly a holiday experience for everyone and what we hope to be a long seasonal tradition with MRT audiences. 
In 1842, on an American tour, Dickens visited Lowell's Mills, and he was taken with the Mill Girls' literary pursuits. There are echoes from the Mill Girls' writing in Dickens' most famous story. So what better theater than ours to build this lasting holiday production? Alongside a company of professional actors, A Christmas Carol will feature 10 children from our region on stage and the gorgeous production values audiences expect from MRT. I'm thrilled to share UMass Lowell's Shelley Barish will design the scenery, and we're thrilled to partner with her. In the darkest time of year, this is truly a bright story for everyone. The new year brings us the gorgeous and potent writing of Kalyan Ung. Letters from Home, also performed by Kalyan, weaves together an intergenerational story. It's both her Cambodian family's refugee story and entwined with her own as a biracial second generation American. The play is taken from family members' letters sent to her father after the Cambodian genocide, told with projections, soul-stirring music written by Kalyan's father. The piece examines a hard moment in history and also considers the pathways for intergenerational healing. We are honored to share this work and to lift the voices of Khmer writers. We close the subscription series on a high note with How High the Moon, the music of Ella Fitzgerald, featuring the amazing Tina Fabric. Tina captivated MRT audiences a few seasons ago in The Haunted Life, and it is such a delight to have her return with this musical tribute. Tina's a powerhouse. She's performed on Broadway, regional theaters across the country, and perhaps most popularly, singing the theme song to Reading Rainbow. We cannot wait to have Tina and her four-person band filling the walls and halls of Liberty Hall with the glorious songs of Ella Fitzgerald. One of our goals as a staff and board is to ensure MRT is a top destination for everyone in the Merrimack Valley. And that means building lifelong opportunities for folks to engage the theater. Next season, we will deepen that effort with a specific piece of programming geared toward early elementary audiences. A new adaptation of Red Riding Hood by Allison Gregory will take the stage in May 2023. The play begins with Wolfgang, the greatest actor on the planet, who is about to recount the traditional tale as a solo performance. When a delivery driver arrives at the theater and challenges Wolfgang's version, she joins him on stage to complete the story. This funny and surprising take on the classic fairy tale explores bravery and the powerful generational relationship between grandparent and grandchild. For educators, there are wonderful curriculum tie-ins, and we look forward to serving children in our region with both public and student matinee performances. Hi, I'm State Senator Red Kennedy. Part of representing Lowell is celebrating a city filled with arts and culture. Merrimack Repertory Theater is an arts leader in Lowell, bringing 30,000 people to the city each year, serving thousands of students and invigorating our local restaurants, shops, and other businesses. I am pleased to be part of announcing MRT's 44th season and to support our arts and culture organizations which much, with much needed funding. We've been through tough times in the Commonwealth, and one of the ways we recover is by gathering sharing stories, and enjoying all that Lowell has to offer. Congratulations to MRT on persevering through the pandemic and preparing for an exciting new season. I'll see you at the theater. Thank you for joining us. We can't wait to see you here in Liberty Hall, both next season and next month for Woody Says, The Music and Life of Woody Guthrie. Don't forget to get those tickets for next season at MRT.org.